Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Rogers with the Big Timber Lodge and I have something very special to talk to you about today. Have you ever been lucky enough to buy something that you saved up for for a long time and it ended up being better than you could have ever dreamed about? Well, that's what I have in front of me. This is a Loki Weapon Systems AR-15. Now, you probably have never even heard of Loki Weapon Systems because they've been out of business for some time. We'll get to that here shortly. But they made state-of-the-art, top-of-the-line AR-15s around a decade to a decade and a half ago before they went out of business. Now... Their AR-15s at the time were fully customizable from factory, which was in Oklahoma. They would make you exactly what you wanted. And I remember when I ordered this rifle, I was a E-3 in the Air Force. So like an Airman... Uh, airman basic and then airman and then airman first class. So I was an airman first class. Holy crap. And I remember talking to the owner of Loki Weapon Systems and telling him, hey, I want something that I can shoot very accurately with at long range. So he built me this. It has the Loki Weapon System Custom Billet Upper and Lower Receiver, a sniper-style pistol grip with a swollen palm swell. It has an expensive Magpul stock so that no matter how far out your butt stock is, you're still going to get a good cheek weld. It has an 18-inch Saturn icicle barrel, which is where the magic of this rifle comes from. And on the tip of the barrel, I have an SJC Titan Comp. Now, this rifle was built for accuracy perfection. This is a Loki weapon system trigger that the owner worked on to give me the cleanest, crispiest break that I could have. And then atop of this beautiful rifle, I put a German Steiner rifle scope. And I have a lot of nice rifle scopes, but this rifle scope takes the cake. It has the best glass that I've ever seen in a rifle scope. The scope is mounted to the rifle with a Badger Ordnance scope mount, which has served me very well. And there's not much on this rifle I would change. You'll notice one of my biggest complaints about an AR setup is that the charging handle is well below the rear bell of the rifle scope. But I'm not using this rifle for a wartime or combative or a close quarter combat environment this is meant to be shot at long range off the bench when there's no pressure on you so this doesn't actually bother me that much actually it doesn't bother me at all and funny thing about this rifle is that this was my very first ar that i ever purchased and my very first AR that I ever purchased can shoot sub half MOA groups with five shot groups at 100 yards. And that's with me as the shooter. This rifle has a history. Not only was it built custom by Loki Weapon Systems to give me the most accuracy possible from their factory with the best features and parts they could find, it's also been seen by multiple gunsmiths around the country and also spent a full semester 
at Trinidad State Junior College in Trinidad, Colorado, which has a gunsmithing program where their advanced modern rifle course took place. And for a semester, the whole class worked on this rifle to make it shoot the best that it can. There's some neat features in this that you won't see with any other rifle. But the coolest thing about it, well, aside from the fact that it's mine, is the fact that with the right ammunition, I can shoot sub-half MOA groups at 100 yards. Check this out. Competition, Loki weapon system, AR platform, 18 inch, one and eight twist, 223 wildy or wild chambering. And we will be shooting 77 grain match grade ammo. Five shot groups, five targets down range. All right, not my best work, but that's all right. Okay. That was center target, let's go top left.
one of the things that I've noticed about this rifle is this SJC Titan Comp does a phenomenal job of keeping the barrel on target. However, the concussion wave that comes off of this makes it feel like you're shooting an AR-10. The rounds, or not the rounds, but the concussion is a lot bigger. So we went top left last time, let's go top right this time. That group wasn't my best group either. The one before that was pretty darn tight. This is a Steiner, actual German Steiner scope. It has some of the best glass I've ever seen, ever. All right. Let's uh, go bottom line. See my heartbeat because this is not a good rest. Whew. Starting to get a little wild. One more group of five. I really should be doing this from a lead sled.
high. I pulled that last one down. All right, let's call the target back. Okay. And that barrel is hot. Well, <laughs> let's have a look. This is my first group. Not good. It's literally a two and a quarter MOA group. Two and a half MOA group. Vertical stringing was my part. Now this is group number two. One, two, three, four, five, which is amazing. I mean, that is literally less than a half MOA. Group number three, a little over an MOA. Group number four, I don't know what's going on. This just isn't my day for shooting. And the group number five, I actually had a really good group, but then on the fifth one, I felt myself pull it down. So that's what the competition AR, I mean, this group's amazing. This rifle can definitely outshoot me, especially today. Okay, so I've made adjustments. I forgot this was a mill radian. So there are one, two, three bullet holes right there, but I've adjusted back up to this. I'm gonna be sending the target back down range, putting five here, 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 and then here. All right, let's get to it. Going out to 100. And then hopefully I get better accuracy using the lead sled.
I do not like shooting on that fluorescent orange target with this scope. This is a thicker crosshair. It seemed to kind of get lost in the sauce. So now we're going to go top left. Injection patterns pushing these shells right into my body. That was a good group. Really good group. Okay. I have to say, this is by far the most accurate they are I have ever shot or seen in person. Way high left. Oh my god, I can't get on this lead slick because it's so freaking high. That was not the greatest group. See the mirage coming off my barrel, the heat mirage. This bad boy is hot, hot, hot. Okay. 
Last grip, bottom right. Shell case and went down my shirt. It's hot. Let's call it back. Right. This was not the most comfortable situation to shoot in. I'm having to sit on my foot. Barrel, stupid hot. Okay. Well, not my greatest work, not my worst though. Oh. So that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's going to be a sub MOA group that's probably close to three quarters. I don't know what happened to me on this right side group. It's horrible. On the bottom left. That's one, two, three, four. That's a sub MOA group right there. And then on my right side, man, this just opens up. So I don't know what's going on. You ever seen that before? Left side good, right side bad. I mean, that's nuts.